The construction of warships in Balaman not only provides benefits from a defense perspective but also creates economic opportunities for local and national communities. Balaman Cebu is the center of attention because it is the location for the construction of the newest warships. This area was chosen not only because of its natural beauty, but also because of its strategic access to the sea and adequate supporting infrastructure. Regarding the increase in the FY2024 defense budget by the Senate led by Senate Pres. Juan Miguel Zabiri, there is also an increase in the budget of the Philippine Coast Guard. A total of PHP 2.8 billion will be allocated to the PCG on top of the approved budget they will receive for FY2024. Of this amount, PHP 2.5 billion will be used for the initial payment of three new offshore patrol vessels to be purchased from Australian shipbuilder Austal, and to be built at their facility in Balamban, Cebu. The first ship will be delivered within 18 months of the issuance of the notice to proceed, following the Philippine government's usual procurement. Max Defense Philippines believes that Austal was ready to start the project immediately after it was awarded to them due to the availability of ready-made designs that they could use. We believe Austal will reuse the 83-meter offshore patrol vessel proposal submitted to the Philippine Navy several years ago, which was later rejected due to price increases. The design is now marketed by Austal as the Offshore Patrol 83. Austal will likely scale back the design by removing Navy-specific weapons and sensor systems such as 76mm and 30mm guns and surface air search radar and replacing them with more Coast Guard-specific systems. Based on our calculations, PHP 2.5 billion is enough for an initial payment of 15% for three ships that we estimate will cost a total of less than PHP 17 billion. This is a good start for the Philippine Coast Guard to build a larger fleet of ships preferably locally made, and increase its numbers to meet its targets. It is worth noting that one of the Australian shipbuilders based in Australia was supposed to deliver an offshore patrol vessel built at its shipyard in Balaman and its design in the Philippines was not recommended. After costs increased due to inflation and increased costs of shipbuilding materials, the armed forces of the Philippines and its modernization efforts are now at Horizon 3 where various projects are being planned or are in the process of being realized one of which belongs to the Philippine Navy which wants to get a platform that is capable enough to be a deterrent such as submarines and ships that will replace several old World War II era ships. Such as the OPV Beach Off-Road Gasoline Vessel whose program requires at least six units now the offshore patrol vessel plans recently became better known in the mainstream media when the Minister of National Defense Mr. Delan Lorenzana shockingly revealed that the Philippine Navy will acquire many operations from that perspective alone. This first announcement comes with both where various projects are being planned or are in the process of being realized, one of which belongs to the Philippine Navy which wants to get a platform that is capable enough to be a deterrent such as submarines and ships that will replace several old World War II era ships. Such as the OPV Beach Off-Road Gasoline Vessel whose program requires at least six units now the offshore patrol vessel plans recently became better known in the mainstream media when the Minister of National Defense Mr. Delan Lorenzana shockingly revealed that the Philippine Navy will acquire many from the corner just look at it. This first announcement came with both enthusiasm and trepidation in the sense that while it might mean more pride for Filipino workers in the shipyards where they will build operations for the country and its national interests, it might as well be. The Department of Defense's desire to carry out this project is still a good thing considering that this is one of the plans that must be prioritized by the Philippine Navy so that it will determine the patrol capability of the Indonesian Navy's fleet in the future as is being discussed this time. The ships will be made of steel and will be produced domestically through their shipyards on balance See, if this is realized the supplier's intended role on its site is not only limited to maritime patrol roles such as anti-piracy and anti-smuggling operations in the area, 